Hi guys, my name is Tom. I'm today with Michael. Michael is our lead mobile developer, and uh, yeah, we will talk today mainly about Xamarin technology. And uh, yeah, we have we prepared a few questions here. So let's start. Uh, Michael, many people don't understand uh, that in Xamarin we have two different approaches. Uh, for uh, development. One is Xamarin native and the second one, the new one, let's say something uh, more modern is Xamarin Forms. Yeah? And uh, for many people only Xamarin Forms in, is the only way how we can develop in Xamarin, but it's not true. So if you could tell us what is the biggest difference between Xamarin native and Xamarin Forms approach from your perspective. So in Xamarin Native, we can create app uh, using uh, basic controls on different platforms, for example, iOS or Android. So we uh, use the normal approach as we uh, do it when we develop in native way. Yes. Yeah. So we have the same uh, access to the user interface. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But on Xamarin forums, we have we have something more. Mm -hmm. We have uh, some controls prepared from Xamarin Group. Okay. That you can uh, use in one code, and uh, these controls are created on both platforms. Okay, so in Xamarin forums, we have additional layer mm -hmm. where uh, we use the same, uh, let's say, controls which are generated on each platform later as uh, user interface. Yes. Something like this. Okay, and uh, so when we develop uh, application with Xamarin Native, we have probably better access to user interface layer and we mm -hmm. can create more fancy layouts. Yes. More advanced. Okay, good. More so specific mm -hmm. to uh, the platform. We can use mm -hmm. uh, very specific controls for, uh, for, for, pla for platform. Okay, uh, so uh, we can say that uh, uh, native way, for example, using MVN Cross in Xamarin uh, native, uh, we have better control over whole uh, interface, everything than in Xamarin Forms, which is more close to hybrid technologies like Ionic, like uh, React Native. Yes, we can say that. Okay, good. So let's go to the question number two. And the question number two is, what is the main difference between Xamarin and between native development? Okay, so uh, like the guy who created Xamarin says, Xamarin is native. Mm -hmm. So it means that the Xamarin is uh, run on the processor. We don't use some code behind Xamarin code and the processor. Okay. So it's the native. Uh, so, and uh, the big difference is that we can uh, use C Sharp language okay. to create uh, application for both platform, for example, for iOS and Android. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, reuse code on both platform. And this is the biggest change that we can, if we create the uh, application on iOS, on Android on in native way. Okay, so if I understand it correct, when we use Xamarin approach, then we have uh, C sharp language. So we have yeah. one language for both platforms. Still, we have the same access to user interface like in native way. Yes. But we don't have to use uh, Java or Kotlin on Android and uh, Objective C or uh, or Swift on iOS. Uh, so we can save time. We can save money. But yes. from the uh, user perspective, uh, we can create everything what we can do when we use native technologies. Yes. Okay. But this is when we use Xamarin native, like Xamarin MVVM cross uh, approach. If mm -hmm. we do it with Xamarin forms, then uh, it's not so, it's also possible, yes. but, uh, but, uh, uh, Regarding user interface, we have more, uh, let's say, uh, 
we, we are not able to do as many things with user interface like in Xamarin Native. Yes, that's correct. Okay, good. And uh, the question number three, if, uh, because Xamarin technology is quite, we shouldn't say old, yeah, but mm -hmm. it is on the market for many years and some time ago it was overtaken by Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is very major technology. And how uh, could you compare it with, uh, let's say, newer technologies like Flutter, like React Native? Yeah, so some people say that, uh, no, we are not going with Xamarin because it's mm -hmm. old. We will develop something with React Native of, or Flutter. Yeah? So how uh, could you compare it, Xamarin with React Native, for example, or with Flutter? So, uh, like I said before, the Xamarin is native, so it's mm -hmm. run on the processor. Mm -hmm. uh, if I should compare it to the Flutter, it's Flutter is uh, very similar mm -hmm. because uh, uh, we use Dart language to write code, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know what exactly it works, but it's it can be very similar. We don't have some uh, kind of framework to run uh, Flutter code, but the other uh, technology like React they use. Uh, some kind of framework to run our, our code. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's it shouldn't be very good. To, it maybe it's good to create a sample app, but to create a long term supported app, it's not a good way. Uh, yeah, as you as you said, and one of uh, examples is uh, Airbnb, mm -hmm. uh, and they developed uh, their application in React Native, and after a few years, they decided switch to the native way because application was too big mm -hmm. and it was uh, very hard to maintain, maintain it with React Native. So uh, from our perspective and our product React Native is also very good technology mm -hmm. but uh, for specific products. Yeah? So yeah. if you need to deliver something fast, uh, something what is not complicated mm -hmm. and uh, if your developers are well skilled in JavaScript uh, in CSS then probably it's better to go with React Native. And of yes. course, we also do such projects. If you need to have something uh, big, developed and maintained in long-term perspective, then in many cases, Xamarin is better. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And bye.